Hello, 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 everyone. Happy Sunday. It's Junie Addy 615, and I have officially been bag sober for two hours. That's the last time I made um, a purchase. So uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. If you are a returning subscriber, I appreciate you coming back time and time again to support the channel. Happy Sunday, Suz. Ladies, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. I am not gonna keep you long tonight because I need to get settled and I have dinner right there waiting for me and I am ready to dive in. So I um, had the opportunity today. Hi, Deluxe, happy Sunday. Simone, happy Sunday. Rosalind, happy Sunday. Um, I had the opportunity this afternoon to take the voyage to the Dooney Mecca or one of the Meccas. Um, I was in Williamsburg, Virginia at the outlet there, did a little bit of running around. Hi, Ingrid, happy Sunday, Florentine Quack. And I was um, able to get some pictures and some video. I'm just getting to the hotel. So I have not had a chance to edit it, but I will work on that this evening. And if I don't post it later this evening, then definitely be on the lookout um, for another video this week. I did post, I don't know, a couple of coach shorts. I also have um, a men's coach video coming from the visit today. So stay tuned to that. Thought I would do something a little specific for the guys, even though I know many of us shop the ladies depart or shop the men's department for items because they have much better organization, it seems like. Um, I did pick up two things. They are the same thing from Dooney, things that I had in my cart that um, ended up being a little bit cheaper at the outlet. So I decided to pick them up there. And that is here. So before I get into that, a little background on the Dooney Ducks. So what I, um, when I was talking to the essays in store today, we were, I, I, some kind of way, I don't know how, but the, uh, the story of the, the Dooney Ducks coming up, coming in like orders and so forth. And they're like, oh no, I don't think we have any ducks. Um, I think we've got the ones already for Christmas. And I said, that's odd. You've skipped all the way or there are no collections. So here's what I learned from a background standpoint with the ducks. So yes, the ducks do sometimes, many times, often correlate back to an actual duty collection or launch like the um, DB75 or like the... Um, Give me some others, y'all. I'm I'm drawing a blank, but you, they tie back. Then there are some others that seem kind of random. And what they shared with me is that on occasion, the marketing department will just print ducks for a specific store. And then where the upcoming fall um, ducks are going to come from. So you'll have to order something in the fall because they're actually... Um, in production is they actually had an a store competition to design the ducks for the fall. So all of the Dooney stores across the country, all of the employees in the stores had the opportunity to participate. And then each store had a competition to judge from the submissions which one they were going to submit to uh, represent their store. And there were two stores that actually won. So we should at least see two fall design ducks in orders in boxes in store here coming up very soon. I won't tell you which stores won, uh, but there were two stores and I've been to both of those stores multiple times. I'll just leave it there. All right. So what did I pick up? The name for this accessory is a little misleading, in my opinion. Um, so I, I have a video clip that I will include when I post the video. 
but for now I'm just going to show you it is this and you know what let me hold on hold hold tight I want to show you in comparison how the size compares to other accessories that you may be more familiar with. This is the medium, pebble grain, medium zip around wristlet. The medium is bigger than the large. It is, hold on, let me get it out. Make sure I can see it. This one is in the color sand. Yeah, this one is in sand. And let me see if it's printed on the tag. But it is, okay, so let's see if you can, uh, let's see. Medium, zip around, wallet. I had five of these in my cart. The bone, the sand, the light taupe, the plum, and the red. I have five of these sitting in my cart on ILD right now, but here it is. So let me just take everything out so that you can get a good, this says medium, this is like a full size wallet. So there you see, and I'm, of course I'm not at home tonight, so I'm trusting this hotel lighting so that's the front, no pocket on the back, zip around with a partial braided pull, and then look at all this, look at all of these card slots in the inside. Look at this. It says it's medium, but this is large. Y'all know how I feel about my card slots. And then it has a center divider that also has a center divider that has space look at this this is the medium not the large so look at this so you've got plenty of space drop cash throw your receipts six some extra cards space then you've got the gusseted space then you have inside this zipper center section. And then in that center, you have another center. And then here, that's the end of the zipper, another gusseted spot. I think I am going to switch wallets while I'm away. How does it compare in size? Y'all, this wallet has been beat up it has been loved. It's got Clorox wipe and Lysol wipe juice dripped all over it from the inside of my bag. I'm going to clean it at some point, but right now I'm still using it. This is the large zip around wristlet. Do y'all see the size comparison? It is just as tall just as thick now this one of course is stretched out a little bit because it's, it's full i need to clean it out but it is a nice size wallet and this is the medium the large is smaller than the medium how does it compare we all know the size of this right and i'm using my kiss lock as a tech pouch at that. So not only did I get it in sand, but let me get all this put back in here, over here. I also because I I, I really wanted bone but they had the white, but this one, it, does, it doesn't feel stark white. And I know against bone, I'm gonna be able to see a color difference, but I want it to pick, you know, 
kind of the two neutrals. So that takes my count down from five to three. So exact same setup. That's how the zip, the center zip section looks again. So there's the zipper. It looks like from the outside that it would just be a place to store coins, but it is so much more than that. I love the center section. So that's all I picked up. Um, they did have a nice clearance section. They did have the signs up for do any samples but i didn't see any samples in store they had a nice selection of pebbled leather and florentine um they had the shoppers um the like the it's lunch shopper totes um the cosmetics are still in um as far as wallets they did have large zip arounds they had some sullivan um, I guess I need to go ahead and start editing the video so that I can get that posted. So if there's anything that you're interested in, you can see and call there to the store. I am also going to work on a, um, a weekly cart. I have it. What I don't like right now about the weekly, about the cart is my cart will save on Dooney.com. It will not save on ILD. So if I spend, you know, 30, 45 minutes in the morning before I get out of bed, putting a cart together, by the time I'm ready to actually film, the cart has emptied itself and I have to start all over again. Not to mention with me doing it from either my cell phone or my tablet, it always, once you get past page one, if you select an item, then it starts the list all the way back over again. And they're like, I think 21 or 2,300 items included in the sale this week as for 30% off. There are also some new items and some prices that I think you should have on your radar screen. So I'm gonna try to get that video knocked out so that I can get it posted um, as well. Uh, that's it though for tonight. That's all I picked up. Um, last week I traveled and ended up missing my flight. So that delayed me last week, Sunday. So I wasn't, um, I wasn't planning to miss last week. Um, but my day job pays the bill. So that comes first. Um, able to get in a little bit late tonight. Gonna get every, you know, I've got shorts. So check those out. Um, I've got video footage coming. I've got a men's coach video that's coming. All of that will be up this week. So like, comment, share, uh, be on the lookout for all of those things um, so that you can see what they have in the different stores. Now, let's talk about um, coach really quick. This new studded collection, the Nolitas, and then they have a... It's almost like a little mini bowler duffel satchel style bag. There's a it's a purple plummy color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that little bag has some weight to it. I've got a short that I'll post um, that will give you a little bit closer view, like the 360 of it. But I think they've done a really nice job with this collection. And if you've not seen this one in person and you're a fan of the Nolitas or you would like to experiment with the Nolitas and you would prefer something in denim, the denim studded for any of your previous coach denim, chambray, dreamer, 40, Dempsey, field tote, whatever, I feel like it will go perfectly with all of those. Um, if I were going to be stationary this week and was not already four pounds over my bag weight for this week, I would have purchased it and um, just lugged it around with me this week. But instead of doing that, I'm just going to order. That way I can take advantage of the cash back on Rakuten and then just have it delivered to the house so that it'll be there um, by, the, by the end of the week, I'm sure. So... If you've not seen that collection or if you've not gone to the store, 
the studs, the studded both thing is, I love it. I think it plays well into the fall with like the moto jackets and the leather and a little bit of a rocker, edgy um, look. So I like it in both the denim and they also, of course, have like a creamy white color that is absolutely gorgeous. I can see definitely the denim is going to be ordered um, and likely the cream is going to be ordered as well because y'all know how I feel about that. Now, let's talk about another thing. So I get on the plane today. Y'all know I love uh, Tory Burch, specifically the Ella Tote. I just ordered one last week, which is why I can say that I'm only like two hours bag sober because um, I was two days bag sober before I went to do me, but I, I had to reset the, reset the clock. <laughs> I'm still trying to get to my first uh, seven day chip of being accessory and bag purchase free. <laughs> it's it's not going well right now, but I mean, you got to start somewhere and we're at two hours now. It's been two hours since I left duty. Um, okay. But on my flight today, there was a young lady that sat in the row in front of me and she had a Tory Burch bag. And y'all know how I feel about Ella. Last summer, Tory Burch had an Ella in Raffia that online I absolutely loved. I, I just had to have it. I finally took the voyage across town to the boutique and I'm so glad that I did go see it in person because the pictures online and the way it actually looked in person, I was just like, oh no. I would have been upset and I would have had to deal with the return and y'all know that just infuriates me because I don't believe in buying stuff that I'm gonna return. I like to you know, make sure that I'm sure and then I'm good. So this summer they released two different versions, a smaller version and then a different colorway of that same bag. Um, and I just completely, when I saw it online, I was like, yep, it's cute. I know what it's gonna look like in person and I'm not gonna be happy with it. Well, the young lady on the plane got on with it. And let me tell you, <laughs> it was ordered before we took off. <laughs> It looks so much better in a different color and it looks like they use maybe a different quality of the raffia in order to make it. It has much more polish. The colorways look so much better. So um, I've ordered that and it will be delivered Wednesday. So again, I am two hours bag sober we will try again this week to see if we can get to like three days, five days, seven days because it it didn't it didn't it didn't go well. I, I thought that after I, you know, purchased on the plane before we took off that I was gonna be good, knowing that I was gonna make the detour. But these were priced a little bit better than they were online, so I just couldn't leave them behind. Besides. I'm already four pounds overweight um, with my bag. So I'll just stick these in my backpack and that way I don't have to deal with the drama with TSA and the Delta agent. So that's it. That's it this week. I just did not want to go another week without at least checking in. And since I purchased something, it's one less thing that I will have to film once I do get back home. So I hope that you all are having an amazing week. For those of you that are on the East Coast that are feeling all of the tropical wind, weather, rain effects, um, try to stay uh, you know, dry and safe as much as possible. And uh, for everyone else, I know we are slowly moving into fall jacket, cooler weather season. Um, get, get excited about it. Like refresh the wardrobe or go in and pull out some things that you bought that you can layer and get a fresh new look for this year if you're not buying and pull out a different bag to usher in 
the new season. I usually do a fall, you know, video. I'm still planning to do that. I usually do it to kick off fall because y'all know that this is like my favorite season. Um, but last week on the road, this week on the road. So we may do it just a little bit later this year, but I do have some things that I want to share. They're just not with me here. So um, the medium zip around wallet, I do have it linked down below if you're interested in uh, taking a look. They do have a ton of colors. For those that picked up like the plum wine Janine that maybe didn't pick up a wallet, or that missed out on plum wine, they do have this wallet available in plum wine. They have it in red, they have it in teal, the black, they have it in taupe, they have it in oyster, they have it in blush pink, they have it in sand, they have a ton of different colors. So take a look at it. It will still work, I think, in your smaller bags. Um, but it definitely is going to give you a bit more real estate and a bit more organization than what they call the large wallet. Another thing, let me point this out. I picked it up. It's already at the house. I thought that last weekend, again, I was going to be able um, to share it, but I didn't. Let's talk about um, Hermes really quick, specifically the Evelyn in the TPM size, which is the smallest size. Dooney has a Florentine messenger with similar dimensions, organization, lining, to me, much more structured and better leather. Of course, it has a whole lot better price point. Um, I have been looking at that bag and when I saw the Dooney version in Florentine, I picked up a couple of them. If you're not familiar with that bag and you like small bags or you um, like bags that you can just throw the essentials in, that's a bag that I would look at because the Evelyn in the TPM size, it becomes a shapeless, soft, almost puddly mess. It doesn't hold its structure. If you're watching any videos um, for those folks that have purchased it online, um, people typically buy an organizer to go in the interior because, again, it doesn't have organization for that price point. And the leather just gets really soft. Like, the leather almost gives me Dooney Belvedere leather vibes, if, if you're familiar with that Belvedere collection. It just puddles. And there's nothing wrong with that, but for that price point, I think that I'm so much happier with the Florentine Messenger. It's available on both ILD and on Dooney. It is almost identical to the Hermes Evelyn TPM size, and it is a fraction of the price. I did pick a couple of those up, but of course, I'm not at home. But while the price is what it is, I wanted to point that out so that if you're interested in that, um, that you don't miss out. I'm going to do a weekly card. I'm gonna try to get it filmed tonight. It probably will not post until tomorrow, but I'm going to try to deliver this week on a video or short every day. Now, We'll see at the end of the week how I do. <laughs> that's that's it. We're going to see how I do at the end of the week. Um, the weather may do me a favor and keep me from venturing um, out and about on my own uh, to keep me out of trouble. And maybe it will get me to 24 hours bag sober. So uh, that that's going to be my new thing, right? We've got the enabler corner. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm venturing and starting to get the itch to start birthday shopping. Um, but I am going to be transparent and let you know how long I can go without buying a bag or an accessory. Today was an epic fail between Tory Burch and the voyage to the Mecca in Williamsburg. It was not a good sober day. I'm, I'm handbag and accessory drunk today and that's okay. I'm gonna call this a, a, a handbag meeting 
and I'm going to start back over again. So let me just see in the in the chat, just because you know people share when they go to meetings, right? Support meetings. I need to know how long have you been bag or accessory sober? Meaning, how long has it been since you made your last purchase? I'm I'm approaching three hours. Let me know in the chat, how long have you been bag and accessory sober? How long has it been since you made your last purchase? Please be sure to hit the thumbs up. So it says eight days. So she's got a, a seven day chip. My pursuit of happiness says a couple of days. So she's not quite at a seven day chip yet. All right, Carla can be our sponsor because she's not purchased since March of 2022. Ingrid is working on a seven day chip. Rosalind is working on a seven day chip. That crazy has uh, um, one day, so she's in there with me. Miss Angie says it's been three months, so we have a couple of sponsors here in the group that can help support the rest of us. Shani Cole, how long has it been? How bag sober? Shawnee. As two weeks, so she's got a, a 14 day chip. Deluxe says August 17th, so she could also be a sponsor. I think we need we need some of those because as the holidays approach, I already know it's gonna get completely out of control and we will just become one big group of enablers on steroids, which is different from the kind of enabling we do with each other for the rest of um, the year, but you know, it is what it is. It, it's, this is a safe space. We are amongst friends and it is a judgment free zone. So this is the color sand and this one is in white. They are the medium zip around wallet. It has so many more um, organizational interior solutions and it is larger than the large, but this one is called the medium. It's almost, I need, when I get back, I'm going to do, uh, and some, you may have to remind me, I may have to write myself a note. I want to, I need to do a comparison between this and the Deluxe Mo to compare what they hold because this one feels like it's definitely a little bit more east-west and not as tall as Deluxe Mo. But I've got a feeling, hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure which of these would hold more because I'm thinking about the fact that they are completely set up differently. And Deluxe Mo, when you open it, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, with the card slots, one, it opens up flat, but you also have a place where you can stick um, currency, like full length currency, which you could you know, fold and put on either side here but I'm, I need to see how they compare. And I think I, I'll try to film that when I'm back home. So that's it. That is it. One little bag. That's all it takes is one little sip and you have to start your, you know, your sobriety journey <laughs> all over again. It's been a rough day. <laughs> And by rough, I mean I can't stay on the wagon to save my life between uh, <laughs> duty in itself and then the young lady on the plane who really did me a favor because I would have missed out and been miserable. The bag is on sale. It's still like $500, but um, I know that I will enjoy it because I've seen it and it looks so much better and the color that uh, Tori did this year as opposed to last summer. So that's that's it, that's all I have. Um, like I said, the affiliate link for the wallets are below. You can also use that to get 
to anything else that I talked about tonight, including the Florentine small messenger, which I compared to the Hermes Evelyn in the TPM size. So um, be sure to check that out. And I will again work on the, um, the weekly cart. I'm gonna build it all over again and try to get it filmed and get the links um, posted. That is it for me tonight. Only gonna keep you for a few minutes. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna catch some of the game and uh, be on the lookout. There will, I am committing, there will be a video or a short every day this week. I'm going to try to make that happen every day this week, which will force me to edit and post the footage that I have so that it is posted more timely. So thank you all for joining. I hope you all have an amazing week. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, like, comment, share. And um, if again, if you're kind enough to use the affiliate links down below, I may benefit uh, monetarily from a small commission if you purchase through um, Dooney or I Love Dooney. So there's my FTC disclosure because we don't pick fights we can't win and that one we don't even wanna tinker with. I hope you all have an amazing week. Until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.